Good day and welcome to another ed ed edition of Al Jara Genie, where we will be looking at the meeting from Fevi on the poly track on the 30th of November. Yeah, I'm just wondering if they ever gonna run on the turf track. Do they still have a turf track that somebody started here in the night or what? Because all we're getting is just poly track racing, and I can tell you what. I'm not actually a big fan of poly track racing, but anyway, yeah, that's what we uh, landed up. So just to uh, make a few things today, just to clear up a few things. Uh, what outside of Genie do is we are a form and analyzers. Uh, we analyze the form, we give you the punt that outside the selections that you can add into your, your selections. And by adding those outsiders, if they do arrive, you probably can then get a higher dividend. We also offer a subscription service where you can get on a daily basis, you can get our selections, race by race selections. We give you free selections per race. The one is our outsider selection, the horse that thing that will win. The other two selections are outsider selections in no particular order. Then um, the cost for that is per month is um, 500 rand a month, but we have a few specials going. The first special is if you, if you um, Sign up now till the end of the month. You're going to pay 250 rand. And then we have a video that we have made how to use computer form, which I'm sure will be useful to you. And you can then get that included in that price of 250. But if you um, really want a good uh, deal, you can take another special, for, which is now from now till the end of December uh, for 500 rand. And you can also get both videos um, that the one is a computer how to read a computer form, and the other one is how to punk to win and get outsiders, finding outsiders using computer form. And both of those will be included in the price of 500 Rand. Should you not wish to subscribe, you can still buy them. Um, uh, each video is 100 Rand. If you take both, 175 Rand for both. So let's move on to the first race at Fairview. And let's have a look at a betting, which is a maiden plate over a thousand meters on the poly track. Here the favorite is Forest of Green, Even Money, Dairy 5 to 1, Forbidden Affair 6 to 1, In the Face 6 to 1, 9 to 2, Eason Bliss, Denim and Jeans 14 to 1, Shasuka 16 to 1, 20 to 1, and longer the rest. Yes, here our first selection, number three, Forest of Green, uh, did run a very nice race last time out, was just run out of la uh, late by Dan Alu, and behind him, uh, one and a half links behind was number four, Dairy, and I do think that those two horses will fight out the finish again. Other outside horses with chances, you can look at number six, six Shashuska, getting the minus four, so that will make a difference. That has been running there and there about last time out that fight, um, but I'm sure there's always getting fitter and might be uh, staying on in this race. Then number eight, Denim and Jeans, also don't, didn't run too bad the race, um, ran 22.9, which is uh, second fastest, and even the race before that, when it was still in Turfontaine, also ran on 22.2. So the horse is running on, and um, I do feel that the denim and jeans are in uh, with a chance making the places. Can win. It doesn't say it can't win. Um, nothing is impossible in racing, but I definitely a horse to include into your uh, play. And there are horses that you can, other horses that you can include. In the flesh, also ran a, wise, a, a nice race last time. Lyle Hewitson in, in, in the saddle, also in of a chance. So is 10, isn't blessed. That ran two nice races, but last time out also faded a little bit at the end. Then, um, yeah, Great Thunder did run a nice race uh, as, in his first run here, but since then has battled a little bit, but maybe a nice outsider that you can include in the back end of your quartets. Let's move on to race number two, and let's have a look at race number two, which is a 2,000 meter maiden plate. And here's the betting, betting as follows. Number seven, Ford Winty, 18 to 10, 11 to two, Godfrey Palace, Global Canyon, 9 to two, 13 to two, Shades of Blue, Just Sonic, 13 to two, 9 to one, Imperius Duke, 10 to one, Bill, and 25 to one and longer. Yes, um, Gavin Spin looking to open the card of the first two races. Here he has got number seven, Eliador, uh, who, liked, who ran a good race last time out. He's getting the minus four, therefore he's carrying only 
53. And I think that's a handy way to carry. And Ford Wimby might be hard to beat in this race. Outsider selections, number four, Imperius Duke, coming from um, Natal, uh, has in shape, um, has a strong dam line, but he's battling, was battling in the bigger centers, first in Turpentain and then in, in Natal, now find itself here in PE and might, and might improve, including audio play, Gavin Smith, Michael von Rensburg on board. In other, uh, outside of selection is number nine, which is Global Canyon. Uh, did ran improve race last time over the longer distance, and I'm sure will go on to improve further, will be involved with the finish. Number 11, Billy Ann, do plays from time to time. Maybe you want to include that into your quartet. We now move on to race number three, which is a Phillies and Mare 74 handicap over 2,000 meters, betting as follows. Number two, Colorado Springs, 9 to 10. Mary Moon, 16 to 10. 6 to 1, Aces Queen, 14 to 1, she's a rock star. 18 to 1, Burn Paper Sky, 25 to 1, and longer the rest. Yeah, here we have a strong favorite. Number two, um, Colorado Springs. But if you have a look under the, the weight turnarounds, the, uh, number one is weighted to beat number two, which it did beat before, and on the weight uh, is, might beat it again. So therefore, my selection is number one, Mary Moon. And I'm looking forward for a deal between number one and two um, in this race. Then um, outside of selections, you can look at number seven, who Aces Queen has been running on lately in her races and has, but was beaten by Mary, uh, Mary Moon and Colorado Springs before. So a, a good choice for the places. Other outsider selection in number eight, she's a rock star. Also uh, did improve last time out, uh, two, two runs back run the rise race behind all four. Carrying a lightweight can be involved. You, I think you should include all three, the Zitzman uh, um, horses in your quartet play because all three of them has got a chance. We now move on to race number four, which is a conditions plate, Phillies and Mare class B, average man rate in 86 over 2000 meters. And here the betting is as follows. Number two, number five, Caliandra, 11 to two, American Princess, 14 to 10, Seeking Wisdom, 10 to one, one 10 to one, 10 to one, still tapping, and 18 to one, Pretty Ballerina. Yes, we are going to have another duel between American Landing and American Princess in Caliandra. Uh, my my uh, choice is for American Princess. She has beaten Caliandra before, and I can't see why not, although Caliandra is a strong contender. Uh, outsider selection number six, still tapping for 50 kilogram and surely make them run. Then we move on to race number five, merit rated 79, handicap class D, average merit rating 72 over the 1600 meters. Yes, I think this is one of the more open races on the card. So let's have a look at the betting. 53 to 10, 92, Mio Grande, 92, Let's Blaze, Chainsaw, 92, Sao Paulo, 6 to 1, Spirit of King, Spirit of Song, 7 to 1, Wind and Tango, 8 to 1, 10 to 1, Masterful, Riga de Oro, 12 to 1, Lightning Parador, 14 to 1. Here, my first election, race 5, is number 5. Uh, that is Sao Paulo. Although I'm not in the habit of tipping eight-year-old mares, this Sao Paulo has been running on well lately. It has been running dear and dear and about with the minus four. I think will definitely be involved in the in, in the finish. Outside the selections, number six, Masterful. Masterful, um, oh, sorry, not number six. Although number six has got a chance, but I was looking at number four, Let's Blaze. That one well last time out, beating Chainsaw. And that is my other outsider selection. They meet again and they can they can renew their due. And as I said, number um, six, Masterful, he always run places. And, and one, of, one of these days, he's going to get to the front and stay in front. So Masterful also in with a chance. Also the top ones, uh, Mio Grande and uh, uh, Norfolk Pine, definitely not without a chance. Norfolk Pine well drawn and Mio Grande drawn eight, not too bad either. They have run against each other quite a few times, beating the one, the other, uh, uh, making turns to beat each other. Winter Tango also in with a chance from draw 10, Chase John. So surely a, bit, a beating race, uh, maybe if you can afford it, include the field. Here we have race number six in Novice Plate, 
um, class D average mean rate is 65 and 1600 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Here we have number seven, Beyond Temptation, 28 to 10. Mary Lee, 33 to 10, Find Me Unafraid, 4 to 1, Untamed Tiger, 9 to 2, Jackpot, Teal, 13 to 2, 8 to 1, fade, Falling for You. So let's have a look at the betting. Um, yes, we have some um, horses who recently won their maidens um, and Find Me Unafraid has won his maiden recently. Uh, my my best my selection number seven beyond the temptation. Uh, I hope everything goes well at the start this time. It was running in a much higher division than it's running today. Today it's a 65, was running in 81, 73, 78, 72s. And today my best bet on the day 28 to 10 beyond temptation. Surely in with a huge chance in this field. Then um, my outsider selection um, is number one, falling for you, falling for you. Um, that one is made in two runs back. And then last time I didn't run too bad beyond, be, behind let's, uh, let's Blaze. As you can see, the best way that Beyond Temptation, Mary Lee, Track Queen, Untamed Tiger, falling for you. So let's move on to the next race, which is um, race number seven. Fillies and Mares 64, handicap for Fillies and Mares, class D, average merit rating 65. And here we have the betting as follows. Number two, give me Anne 72, 92, Ryan Ed, upper 10, 6 to 1, Silver Fountain 6 to 1, Bridesmaid Blue 7 to 1, Never Let You Go 8 to 1, Step It Up Baby 9 to 1, 10 to 1, Linda Lovelace 20 to 1, and better the race, the, the rest. Here we have a situation where we have quite a number of horses who won their maidens last time out. Gimme Ann won her maiden last time. Upper 10 won her maiden. And Ryan A won her maiden. My selection is number six, Bright Mage Blue. Did run well behind Duchess of State last time. And from draw one, run paddock. I'm sure uh, I think uh, six, Bright Mage Blue, a huge runner in this field. Outside the selection, number seven, Silver Fountain for Sharon Cotson. Look for Rara's riding. Also run well last time out over the 60, over the 1,300 meters. I'm sure the 1,400 meters will not be a problem. Has run twice over this distance with one win, but still have to win on the poly. But on the breeding, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'm looking for seven Silver Fountain to run a very a huge race today here. Never let you go. Another uh, individual who keeps on running places and wins now and then. Um, from draw 10, definitely a horse that you don't want to leave out of your calcul calculations. This horse can surprise. Yeah, then, the, you, then um, you can decide on these horses that has um, you know, won last time out the maiden. I'm not in the habit of you know, tipping or playing those horses, but I have had some ache on my face lately because I do find that sometimes they win and then they win straight after the maiden, they win again. So um, that then, that that uh, is a thing that looks to me uh, these days are uh, happening more often where in the past it was very rare for the horse to win his maiden and then follow up with a second. But um, I would think upper 10 uh, uh, might be in a good space here. Was second to Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has run again. Uh, and, and is also running today on the card. So Corrado Springs has won again, so that makes that form, form strong, although Tillard Harvey has also won. So maybe of this horse that won the maidens last time, out, I think for me, Upper 10 might be the better candidate to maybe follow up straight out of the maidens. So definitely include in all your play. Then we move on to race number eight, the Fulham's Mayors 86 handicap, class B. Average merit rating 83. Let's have a look at the betting. Here we have the betting number one, Sentin Garden 13 to 10, Joyful Noise 22 to 10, Traveling Style 6 to 1, Twin Falls 8 to 1, 10 to Y, 3 5 um, and 12 to 1, Vascara 14 to 1, and better the rest. Yes, I think here we're going to have another deal between number one, Sentin Garden, and number eight, Joyful um, Noise. My selection, Joyful Noise, as Joyful Noise did beat Colorado Springs. And today is again, um, is uh, two kilograms better off 
Uh, last time I ran second to Zenith Gardens, half a length, and on that rate, race is two kilograms better off than before. So my choice, number eight, Joyful Noise, but make no mistake, I think number one, Scented Garden, also a huge runner in this race. Outside of selections, number two, Twin Falls, can definitely surprise in this party. Um, has been running again stronger, so uh, definitely also that has got a huge chance in this field. Outside of selection is number five, Viascara. Viascara is a six-year-old man um, that, that surprised in, 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 in Kimberley one day, winning a future and um, it took a time in PE, but based on her last run and its draw run, uh, Ferrari's on board and draw two today, I think Viascara can run an improved race, do include in all your bets. Traveling style is also all that is informed, has running, been running well lately, can also be involved in the finish. So let's move to race number nine. Race number nine is a November Fris Amir's handicap, class D, average mare rate in 65. Let's have a look at the betting. Here we have another open race, three to one the field, Proclaimer three to one, Elusive Giant nine to two, Bushy Park nine to two, Beneficiary uh, 13 to two, Elusive Diva 30 to two, Interpret Travel 11 to two, Black Arena 13 to two, 12 to one and longer the rest. Here, my selection is going to be number two. I did gave it last time out as a value bet, but unfortunately was leading, but got run out of it. But maybe the horse would strip fitted today and with um, and can surprise and maybe hold on should they elect to go to the front again. I see it's draw nine and I would think that that would be the option that they will follow to go to the front. Outside of selection that I have in this race is number four. Um, number four is Elusive Diva. Uh, Elusive Diva also running there and thereabouts, but has drawn one today after having a few wide draws in some of the last time. Did run well behind traveling and st style in uh, a 72, now today running in a 65. So I do feel that Elusive Diva, Diva and it's also a great inmate, maybe you should take the exacta two and four, can definitely improve. Here we have number five, Gypsy Women. This horse is at 35 to one. Now, um, this horse ran against some decent opposition in Gauteng now finds herself in PE, getting a minus four. I would think 35 to one is a huge price for this horse. Do include in all your pay because at that price, if we do manage to place, it's definitely going to boost your dividend. Beneficiary has also been running well lately. Also, odds that you need to include. Interpret travel, I do also feel today might run a, a, a decent race. Uh, is drawn six, very well bred. I know that breeding is also well bred. That win a, a maiden by four links, and I do think can improve from her last run. So all in all, a nice car today. I hope you can make a few rand. I hope I pointed you in the right direction. And as I always say, break a leg.